I had to like grow up really fast my freshman year. I never got treated like a freshman either. Coach Moki never treated me like a freshman. She always just held me to a higher standard and a higher expectation, always. Kind of like now too. She probably sees a lot of things in me. Former Baylor guard Alexis Morris is transferring to Rutgers. Morris was dismissed from the Baylor women's basketball team back in September for a violation of team rules. And when you get knocked down to your lowest and you're so used to being at the top, it's very humbling. So I was humble when I was at Rutgers and that's why I am how I am today. Off the bench for Texas A&M, Alexis Morris, the Baylor transfer. Gary Blair thinking he needed a little boost, a little energy boost, and he got it from When I left workers, like, it's, it's like at every destination, I never, I wanted to finish there. Like, I wanted to graduate there. I never had plans on transferring this many times. But unfortunately, I had to. When I got to Texas A&M, I was just like, I just want to be home. Like, I just want a home feeling. Like, I want to be able to call my mom to come bring me some food or, you know, just to come hang out or I want to be able to see my moms in the stands at the games. The only thing I didn't really get at Texas a &M was to, like to perform as much as I would have loved to. I think probably you can lose the love of something when you're not playing very much. You're putting all that work and time and effort in and she's thinking, gosh, here I am towards the end of my career. On behalf of all the Tigers in the world, it is my honor to welcome home the head coach of your LSU Tigers, Coach Kim Mulkey. My dad, um, he never tells me like what to do with basketball or like kind of just let me be free. But he called me, he was real adamant. He was real assertive with these words. He said, you need to talk to Coach Mulkey and you need to go back and play for her. You need her in your life and she's gonna need you in that program because she's rebuilding. So it's a perfect opportunity I showed up on campus with a backpack and a duffel bag and one pair of tennis shoes. That's all I came to LSU with. And I knew that I was gonna make it work. I didn't need nothing. I didn't need to bring nothing but myself and a few, like, a few pair of clothes. I was showered with love when I got back. And it was just a reminder of how much, you know, these people really genuinely cared about me. Ever since I was a kid, it was just like a relief too, like, dang, like, he was looking for this feeling in other staffs and, or in other schools, but this is like, this is where you were meant to be. I literally teared up, told her I was going to get emotional, but it's how proud I was of the progress she made, the year she was having, and how she was taking advantage of that opportunity. And uh, I, it's, just, it's just one of the great college basketball stories, and then she did nothing but add on to it this year. I think my story is different because I'm not supposed to be here. And I'm standing here at 10 toes. The world counted me out at one point. I think my story is special because I always put the human being first. And I think you can see that in how I carry myself. Like, I'm human and I want to be treated that way. She's a kid that perseveres. Then I think Kim provides something that Lex craves, which is discipline and accountability. I appreciate you guys letting me get on you. You will be a woman because of it, Lexis Mars. It's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you get back up and you climb that ladder. Deep down in her heart, she wants to be part of a team. And I, I think that's part of her her ability to come back.